Okay, I just want to show you a little bit of the acoustic A40 amplifier. I'm going to show you the Bluetooth functionality on it tonight. This is part of the package that I got from Performer Magazine, uh, the acoustic A40 amp, and this Mitchell Element acoustic electric guitar. So, part of, as you can see, the features of the amp here, one of the perks of this one is the Bluetooth connectivity. So you'll see here on the front, on the control panel, you've got a little Bluetooth light right here. And if I turn this guy on, got different settings. I got a cable in there I don't need. Um, on the back side here, we've got a button for Bluetooth. Push that down and we'll get that front light flashing. So now it's sending out the Bluetooth signal. Got another mobile phone here. If I come in, and make sure my Bluetooth is on. Hold that down. We should see this acoustic already paired. The passcode when you first pair it is this year here. 1967, so it's a four digit passcode 1967. If I go, I've already paired this particular device, but you can pair any device that has Bluetooth. Select that guy, and it's already paired. So now I can go into some music. And this really was, was impressive as far as a speaker that fills this room. You see in this room I've got variety of other speakers and amps and these these big uh, monitors and this big PA system that I've gotten here typically fills this room pretty well but this this amp which doesn't take up that much space does a really nice job with Bluetooth music coming through it I'll be DJing a wedding this week and if the place didn't have a built-in sound system I would have probably been fine just using this for the space both for the any any emceeing as well as as DJing that's needed. This this does a good job. So I'm here just picking some music here on my other device. One second. I saw Jose Gonzalez come through Salt Lake a couple of weeks back or a couple of months back. So we'll go with. One of his newer songs. This is my favorite song that he did live. All right, here we go. Let's see if we hear it pick up. So, got it queued up. This is just a single that he did. Hit play. Here's a second of it turning on. And then the audio control on the device how you control the audio once it's coming through. So I'll step back a little bit so you can get some of the sound. So what's neat, and you can't tell this through YouTube, turn that down a little bit. Turn it off. Right? What's really nice is that you really feel it. In this room, you can't tell that through YouTube, of course, but uh, it's pretty powerful. And even when I'm, you know, got the guitar plugged in, or and with vocals, it carries both really well. And that that bass drum has a nice thump to it from here. You feel that? So it's pretty nice. Um, keep that going. I'll just pause that for a second. So the intention, of course, is to be able to play along with it, you know, or really any other purpose that you need to pass Bluetooth through it for. I don't know if you heard that little beep when I, it's like a little blip when I turned off the, the audio. So coming, bringing in sound or turning off sound from the device seems to have that little bit of a blip so it's just something to be aware of as you as you get it up and running but 
I was wondering when I first got it whether the Bluetooth was such that it would allow you to control some of these custom settings with like an app or something because show you some of these little controls here. So you've got 20 factory preset effects and then 20 user presets. I was hoping it would allow you to configure some of these user presets via a phone and have a little bit easier controls. You can definitely do it on here, but some of the method to go through and save it takes takes a handful of steps and is not as intuitive as it could be. But it's pretty nice effects. The, the effects once turned on will go through both input channels over here. So if you have vocals and guitar coming through, they're both going to be impacted with that. But it's not a huge deal most of the time, especially if you got an effects pedal coming in or something else that's doing the effect just for the guitar. And you can also loop that in there. But you know, I just want to focus on that Bluetooth piece. Hopefully that's informative uh, from the Acoustic A40 from Acoustic Amplification. Thanks.